Hey guys, Bob here on the CyberBob City Workshop, and I'm here with my second French cleat lock design. If you saw my previous video about my swiveling cleat lock, you know that it requires two and a quarter inches beneath the cleat on your tool holder for it to work. Well, what happens if your tool holder is smaller than that? Well, this is my bottom flush mount cleat lock, and it's perfect for these smaller tool holders. To use it, you just need to design your tool holder to sit flush with the bottom of your cleat when it's mounted on the wall. The cleat lock screws into the bottom. You push it in so it sits flush with the front of the tool holder, and now it's locked onto the wall. To remove it, just pull on the handle, and now it can be taken off the wall. Like my other designs, this was created in Fusion 360 and printed out on my original Prusa Mini. It has a 20% infill and a 0.2 layer height. It requires no supports and only takes about 35 minutes to print one. Here I'm printing with white inland PETG, which I pick up at Micro Center. Inland is a great quality filament that doesn't break the bank. This bottom French cleat lock uses two number eight round head screws and two number eight washers. My local Home Depot doesn't seem to stock round head number six screws, so I used what was easily available to me. This bottom cleat lock is perfect for a holder I made for my tape measures and a couple other tools. Let's install this French cleat lock now. Line up the front of the lock with the handle on it with the front of the tool holder. Put the washer on the screw and then screw them in. Then you might want to finish them off with a handheld screwdriver so you can judge how tight you want them. How tight you put them on is up to you. You may want to put them looser and then when you get it on the wall, just tighten them up once they're in place. And that's it. Just put your tool holder on the wall, push in your cleat lock, you know it's snug, and I can add in my tape measures, my combination square, and a utility knife. And if you ever need to move it, just pull out the cleat lock and move the tool holder wherever you want. Both of my French cleat designs are available for free download on printables.com. So please give them a download and let me know if you find them useful. Thanks for watching.